Please come. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please take your seat. How do you pronounce your name? Santhapa. Santhapa Kuru Kuru Bara. Yes, sir. Very good. Santhapa, can I call you Santhapa? Yes, sir. Hmm. Santhapa, you are already working as a sub inspector in yes, sir. Karnataka Police. Sir. Yes, sir. And uh, you have been sub inspector for the past six years. Yes, sir. How has been your experience? Sir, it is a mix of uh, challenging, good, bad. Sometimes it gives a pleasant experience. Very rich of the doctor and vulnerable sections. Uh, there is a fulfillment of the life sometimes, most times. Sometimes challenging is there, sir. Okay. For example, during COVID time, we reached to the most vulnerable section, especially migrant laborers. On that time, we feel uh, something fulfilled in our life because that was the golden opportunity for the police people to reach out to the people. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, this is your eighth attempt yes, and possibly your last attempt. Second, uh, second last. Second last. Yes. So there are nine attempts uh, yes, available. Huh? Nine attempts. Okay. Why, how is it that you could not make it in the past? You have reached uh, up to this stage for the first time. Yes. Third time? Yes. And uh, where, uh, which year did you come up to the interview stage? Sir, so in the year of 2017. 17? Two, yes. 2019. Oh. And 2023. 23. Okay. So, what was your score? What went wrong? You did not do well in the main exam or in the interviews? So, we have to introduce something disastrous for me. Uh, oh. I think it was only one of the main advice. I think that the main advice maybe something happened. Achha, your medium of answer was Kannada. Kannada other times. Achha. Second time I got 150 and I also performed less in mains in second time. Okay. Yes. Let us go through this time yes, sir. and find a place in the merit list. Eh? Yes. How did you keep yourself motivated all these years? Sir, my life. I usually learn from my life, uh, my life only. Sir, I failed in 12th. Uh, during that time, I felt my life is over. And that too, I worked as a farmer because I failed in supplementary also. So when you fail in supplementary, there is no other option to continue college. So I was working as a farmer. I felt something my life is over. Then I passed with very less mercedes, 39 percentage. Then I found that life is bigger than anything else. So we should keep motivated ourselves. Okay. And life is for those people who have patience, hard work, perseverance, sir. So I feel this thing, sir. And this, this thing made me to motivate and I also motivate others to. Yes, you are a motivational speaker. I yes, have seen sir. that. Huh? Yes. Okay. Uh, as per the CRPC, Sir. Sub-inspector is considered to be the investigating officer. Yes, sir. For non-heinous crimes. For? For non-heinous crimes. Non-heinous crimes. Okay. Yes. But very often we find that uh, officer of the level of head constable or constable, they carry out the investigation and get the report signed by the sub-inspector. This is the ground reality I am talking about. Yes, sir. Uh, they have head constable and above officers can have the uh, have the power to make a FIR. But investigation is done by the SHO. Sometimes all the time sub inspector not available. We cannot say that uh, no, we cannot make a FIR when sub inspector comes. You can come at that time. You cannot tell like that, sir. See, law itself gave authority to the head constable and above officers mm -hmm. can make a FIR. Okay. Sometimes, Supposing you do not agree, how do you verify that whatever has been reported upon? Uh, in the complaint by your subordinate is factually correct, is authentic. Sir, actually we do preliminary investigation before make it, making a fire. This is the one thing we do. If we come to know that there is a fact in the incident or the complaint, then we can make a fire. Mm -hmm. Sir, certain, sometimes in preliminary investigation, we come to know that that is the false case. False case. False case. Despite we know that that is the false case. <laughs> For example, in my case, uh, in my experience, uh, one lady, she came to my police station. She wanted to uh, give a complaint against the owner where mm -hmm. she is residing. So 
So during preliminary investigation, we came to know that she is not giving rent to the owner. Hmm. So now she is making allegation about harassment against the owner. So sometimes it happens. Sir. So law is misused. So we can we should do affair, but during investigation we will make it a, that is B report, sir. Hmm. Have you ever carried out lie detector test or narco analysis test? No, sir. Do these require the consent of the accused? Yes, sir. It is required, sir. Or if the court orders, then also you can do it without his consent, his or her consent? No, no, no. Uh, after giving uh, consent by the accused only, we can make it. Uh, Supposing he doesn't give you consent, you can can you force him or can you get the orders of the court? Yes, sir. After getting order from the courts, we can. You do can it. do it. Huh? Yes. Okay. Recently, uh, amendments were made to the three criminal laws. Yes, sir. And the nomenclature was uh, changed to from English to Hindi. Yes, sir. How do you react to this? Do you know Hindi? Yes, sir. Yes. You can speak in Hindi. I can understand Hindi, sir. But you can't read it. Huh? I can read it, sir. Uh, read it. it was the third language for us. Mm. But is it proper to uh, give them the Hindi nomenclature? Why? They could have retained the English nomenclature. CRPC, yes, IPC, Indian Evidence Act. Yes, sir. We can uh, retain that name. But still, we want to give a Indian touch. We want to come out of the colonial legacy. Huh. So, and there is no wrong if we give Indian names to the Indian laws. Madras High Court had recently given some orders sir. on this very issue. Okay, sir. They said we don't know Hindi, so we will continue to use the English nomenclatures. Mm. What sir. is your take on that? Is it correct? Sir, I accept that, sir. Uh, we should use can use Hindi and English, but we should not impose, sir. So understanding, learning, uh, Hindi is going to uh, is going to diverse our views. It can increase our experience. We can able to communicate with the other peoples. There is no wrong to learning the Indian languages by Indians. But it should not be imposed once. It should not be imposed. imposed. In fact, it should be promoted to learn, sir. Sir, in democracy, anything is imposed that is going to be rippled back, rebelled back. These people generally speak about corruption and police. They are synonymous. Do you agree that there is corruption? Lot of corruption, rampant corruption in the police forces everywhere across the country. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, corruption is there in most of the departments and it is applicable in police departments, sir. The thing in the police department is that it is more visible. The corruption is going to take place in the on the roads. And in police department, corruption is not a collusive one, sir. Yes. Collusive or coercive? Both are coercive, sir. Coercive. In coercive. See, we can we can stop coercive corruption, sir, but we cannot stop collusive corruption because yeah, in the collusive corruption, both parties are win-win situation. Yes, yes. So in the police, coercive uh, corruption is there, sir. Uh, but over a period of time, it is reducing. For example, sir, in Bengaluru, we made it that uh, body camera is compulsory for the people who are uh, working at cutting edge level. So everything is recorded. But I cannot say that it is going to reduce hundred percent. But the intensity is going to bring come down like anything. Sir. Another flaw that is noticed in the police uh, administration is the refusal or uh, to, uh, to refusal to uh, file the FIR or complaint. Yes. Is it not compulsory for them to file the FIR if a person comes to them? Yes. What are the Supreme Court's orders on this? Yes, sir. Uh, regarding uh, certain offences, for example, sir, in domestic violence cases, we should do preliminary investigation and we can, after preliminary investigation, we can make FIR and we should not arrest in domestic violence cases. Sir, there are certain cases, for example, non-cognizable cases if comes, we can make it a PCR, private complaint report. We cannot make it FIR. Certain cases are in the form of petitions. So we can reach out the petitions and we can solve the petitions uh, through the negotiations and all those things. Sir. Some some applications or some petitions are in the form of civil in nature. We cannot accept those things, sir. So that is... In nice. case of domestic violence cases, you referred to just now, yes. uh, is there any need to investigate into the matter before filing a complaint? 
there is a there is an exercise this sir a, first uh, before making a fair we ensure that as a not only from the angle of police from the angle of the responsible indian citizen for indi for indian people family is the sacrosanct for us we will ensure that there is a smooth going on between the husband and wife and we will allow for the counseling also if everything fails then a lady uh, is insisting us to make a fair then we will make a fair 498a 498a of ipcs yes uh, but uh, sometimes you know women uh, married women have been noticed to be filing uh, very wrong accusations against their husbands their husbands families mothers fathers and everybody and uh, they are all generally considered motivated they are not authentic so what what uh, are you supposed to do in such a circumstances how do you verify sir when we listen the complaint by the complaint party we feel that they they are going to tell in a such a way that everything is factual and based but when we when we investigate the uh, in laws husbands then we will come to know the reality we do insist sir uh, better not fir is not going to be solution and we will tell them sir but if they are insisting us to if they are forcing us to make air then we do not have any option we will make it fir sir but we will we'll, in investigation will prove that this is the motivated case this is the case which do not have any base okay my last question yes sir police encounter is very common but they are harassing <laughs> not considered fake and the police says no they were carried out in self defense self defense police encounters are permissible so even if the encounters are fake they are covered up by the police yes sir so how to avoid this okay. in uttar pradesh and uh, in other, other places also fake encounters are very common maharashtra uttar pradesh bihar sir yes sir in fact uh, fake uh, uh, the encounter is in people who are done encounters they are made a heroic welcome and people accepting at large uh, for example in disha case uh, hyderabad people accepted and enjoyed lot about yes, yes. Mm. sir there are certain things related to the encounters why people are enjoying first they believe that this uh, accused person not going to get punished okay. so we should ensure that sir from the investigation angle from the prosecution angle from judicial angle okay. they should not go out of the law whoever involved in the uh, crime activities they should be punished second thing sir whoever involved in the uh, this fake encounters so they should be accountable and they should be brought into the law third thing is sir police people should not bound by the political pressures or political motivated encounters should not be allowed because if they are politi- uh, politically motivated then there is a political gain there is no professional gains okay on the other hand we should ensure that there is awareness for the uh, victims or accused also what are their rights so this is the multifaceted and multiplonged approach yes. thank you thank you sir well mr santappa sir you did your nccc certificate yes sir c certificate is very senior position in yes, the college yes can you tell me when the ncc was established and the reason for its establishment sir uh, it was established in the year of 1948 uh, sir uh, the genesis of the ncc lies with the indian defense act 1917 on that time they want people uh, british people want more number of cadets so uh, according to the rudayanath kunjuru committee this ncc was established okay so you worked for the women toilets as well yes sir uh can you utilize this power of yours for increasing the enrollment of the girl students in these schools yes sir uh sir according to the acr report lack of toilets is one of the reason for the discontinuity of the educations you also worked for the child begging to stop the child begging is there any state law yes sir sir uh, prevention of the uh, beggary act is there uh, so then juvenile justice act is there so this is jj are... in the jj act jj act juvenile justice act yes. what is the provision regarding begging i don't think there is any provision is there any 
no sir there is no particular link between juvenile justice and beggary the but but once okay. rescued then there is a remedy and yes, uh, yes. there is a provision yes so which department is uh, the nodal department for the jj act in your state sir uh, ministry of women and child women and child development department yes so what is the main scheme which is mainly for the women and the child there is women. one very good scheme and old one this is a central scheme sharing basis scheme sir is it i said i said yes integrated ICD. child development schemes any feature of it can you have you come across sir icds is more bothering about the um uh, some anganwadis sir anganwadis 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 yes. they are they are going to give nutrition food nutrition. and food for the lactating mother also sir yes yes and they are going to give preschool environment preschool environment yes okay uh, have you heard of cbi and ia what is the difference cbi and cbi and national jo investigation agency is the nia yes. yes what so, are difference between these two agencies sir cbi was established by the special, uh, delhi special police act it is going to take up the cases related to the uh, murder economic offenses however nia was established after the mumbai attack NIA is going to take up those cases which are going to challenge the sovereignty of the India and cases related to the terrorism. Terrorism. Hmm. Yes. Good. So you played kabaddi as well. Yes, sir. Is it uh, international game? And if so, at which level? Sir, yes, sir. It is international game, and uh, it is the national game of Iran, Nepal. And it uh, the kabaddi game is participating in the Asian Games. it is there in the asian is it also a part of the olympic no sir it was a part of olympics as a demonstration game in the year of 1936 sir uh you belong to a state uh, moreover your father had been uh, agriculturist mother sir your mother okay yes. which crops are grown there sir we usually grow uh, paddy okay Paris. and paddy is in the kharif in the rabi sir it is the uh, karif crops which one karif rabi uh, ka- paddy is the karif crops paddy is a kharif crop in the rabi which crops are grown in the, no sir actually we are the, the, actually you are taking two paddies two paddy we are the beneficiary of oh, the oh yes system. yes beneficiary of the climate and the, you yes, yes yes have you heard of narega scheme yes sir what's the main feature sir it is going to give employment for the unskilled labor sir especially in the rural areas and uh, right to work made it as a law if anyone cannot getting a job then he will be paid 100 days yes work is guaranteed yes to a adult every adult of the family or to a family no sir uh, family to a family to a family yes yes what crisis are the challenges this scheme is facing these days i mean these years after covid during the covid it helped yes sir sir as far as uh, narega is concerned there is a loopholes in the system for example fake hmm. workers and uh, the assets created through the narega those are not durable for example lakes bundings those are not durable and third thing is that sir whenever people are demanding the panch at panchayat level panchayat is the unit which is going to implement they are not going to give and there is a gap between the work done and the wages they are getting and over a period of time a central government is reducing its allocations to the narega it's being reduced continuously in the last 3 years yes sir in your opinion can social audit uh, take care of all these challenges Sir, are you aware of social audit yes sir it is one of the feature of the narega but the thing is sir in my village uh, people are not aware what exactly meaning of social audit the provisions are good but at ground level those things are not working sir. okay what solution you are suggesting any idea sir uh, in this regard we can make it everything into online for example wherever work is done that should be done through the gps system they should upload the photos and videos and there should be a feedback system it's a part of the scheme already 
years back they started it yes sir very good mapping is there yes sir in spite of that uh, the level of satisfaction is very poor yes sir any other suggestion uh sir uh, we should ensure that social audit should be imp- has done at the ground level and it should be implemented thoroughly thoroughly yes yes my last question is a situation yes uh you are heading a district yes. and by chance a major train accident happens there yes. is lot of injuries yes sir how you tackle the situation make a good plan take few moments to think over then let me know it yes first sir uh, being a police officer as and when i get the information i will go with my men and all those things and immediately meanwhile i am going i will ensure the ambulances are coming to the, that place if train accident happened certainly there may be injuries so i will ensure along with my movement there should be ambulance should come over that place then the securing the place because if more people if people are coming then there is a possibility that it is going to hamper the my our rescue process meanwhile i am informing to the uh, district disaster force also so they should also come and they will also do that thing sir how will you take care of the press media people they are disturbing you and your plan yes sir uh, as far as the incident is concerned i will secure the place first please. because that is the place where i am going to give more evidences uh, as far as media is concerned uh, it is a both ways first i will request them not to interfere in the rescuing process so they can they also understand they are the part of us so they can also understand sir and you make a separate window for them and give a press release uh, from time to time and uh, you designate one separate officer well nice good uh, yeah thank you uh, santappa kurbada yes yeah uh, you have acquired ncc certificate yes, what, is, what is the ncc song हम सब भारतीय हैं यस या हम सब भारतीय हैं यू यू आर अ प्लेस सब इंस्पेक्टर आज ऑफ नो राइट व्हाट इज डीके बासु जजमेंट सर डीके बासु जजमेंट इट्स अबाउट द गाइडलाइंस रिलेटेड टू द हाउ टू प्रिवेंट कस्टोडियल डेथ्स या या हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट हाउ थी रिबन यस सर हु आर दे एंड व्हाई दे आर यू नो अटैकिंग इंडिया शिप इन रेड सी सर Houthis are the rebels who are taking the who are ruling the seventy percent of the Yemen. Sir, they are the proxies of the Iran. Uh, their target is to the ships which are linked to the USA, UK, and Pal- Israel, sir. So uh, they were they are standing in favor of the Hamas. So Hamas people are attacked by the Western forces. So they want to take a revenge against those things. that's why they are attacking on those ships which are coming in the red sea and indian oceans okay have you heard about uh, uh, you know maldiv recently maldiv had taken anti india uh, you know stand yes. why is it so sir according to the our honorable external affairs minister he said international in international politics is politics we cannot ensure our smooth relationship at uh, in every time there may be ups and downs sir in maldives there are two parties one party is pro india another party is pro china if pro china party comes into the power it will take action which will antagonize the india so this is the one thing and the present uh, president of the maldives who actually involved in the india out campaign so that's why he is taking some actions in this regard the police department uh, you know working under or functioning under which law do you know sir police act 1861 does it need a reform yes sir uh, it need reforms that's why the government bringing some laws regarding bns yeah. bns do you have you heard about this bharti nyay samhita act adhiniyam which has increased the custody police custody from 15 days to 60 days yes sir how is it come con- you know with conflict with article 21 yes sir 
सर आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी से राइट टू लाइफ एंड लिबर्टी बट दो थिंग्स अपलिकेबल फॉर द कॉमन मैन सिटीजन बट दो थिंग्स नॉट अपलिकेबल फॉर दूज सो फॉर दूज accused sir accused okay. so, so have... anyone can be accused any citizen can be accused for in that moment yes sir but we will come to know through the negotiation if we come to know that uh, sir we uh, we ask most of the people who are witness also we ask to come to uh, give evidences a uh, statement sir so if we come to know that there is a need that we, uh, we need this person for longer period of time for interrogation then only we can retain that person otherwise we will submit to the judicial custody sir fine uh, recently you know uh, parliament uh, had pa- you know presented the budget interim budget what is difference between interim budget and the regular budget sir interim budget is a budget sub- uh, produ- uh, presented by the outgoing government sir full budget is uh, presented by the uh, government which is taking into power and ruling the what is vote on account sir vote on account uh, is the account which is going to take up the two months uh, from the presentation to approval two months is advance required. grant from advance the parliament grants. yes very good very good i think yeah done from my side and dr jitendra will ask you question hello santappa sir so i will take you to the historical background sir so tell me any uh, what was the first kingdom who has ruled over this region of your state karnataka first kingdom sir first kingdom sir we began with ashoka because we have seen inscription of ashoka in bellary so there was no local kingdom before ashoka yes sir gangas sir they before ashoka before ashoka was after ashoka gangas what is the time period uh, sir it was the time period of uh, first first century to so second century first century yes kadamba sir they okay and did satavahana also ruled over karnataka yes sir but after the badami chalukyas are the in the Uh, 9th century 8th century they are coming they are coming. but satavana was not of 9th century right it was from 2nd century to 2nd century 80 uh, but basically. yes sir yes sir before satavana uh, gangas were there uh, kadamba were there uh, kadamba were there okay. then can, can you tell me a name of five north indian rulers who have ruled over karnataka any five name one from one is ashoka ashoka what is others uh sir harshavardhan no he was defeated by pulkishan second he yes. couldn't go to south yes, so harshavardhan did not rule over karnataka sir uh, delhi sultanate which were akilji uh, sir alauddin khilji alauddin khilji what were others uh mohammed bin tughlaq sir okay mohammed bin tughlaq hmm, then three you have name then sir akbar sir uh, the not direct akbar the chieftains of the akbar uh, nizams of hyderabad were ruling not direct but akbar. nizam of hyderabad was not a part of akbar time yes sir akbar was not ruling over karnataka yes sir it was aurangzeb who ruled okay yes. all right so <clears throat> if i talk about uh, karnataka history there is a badami cave temples yes okay. sir So, what is the main feature of this Badami Cave Temples, sir? Uh, Badami Cave Temple. There are there are four uh, uh, caves hmm. belongs to different sects, Shaiva, Jaina, hmm. uh, then Vaishnava, sir. Vaishnavas. Yes. And uh, Ajivika are also found in these caves, sir. Ajivikas are not found in that cave, sir. Usually, uh, the sculptures which are related to the Jainism and Buddhism is there. But not Ajivikas exactly. Sir. All right. So do you know about uh, Ilora caves, yes, Ilora sir. caves and Ajanta caves, which are in Maharashtra? Yes, sir. So was there any contribution of Rajputa rulers in the construction of Ajanta caves? Sir, a uh, few caves the built by the Rashtrakutas and the paintings related to the Rashtrakutas and uh, Shiva Kailasnath temple of the Ellora, built by the Krishna third uh, Krishna three sir. All right. Yes, sir. Recently, three temples have got UNESCO World Heritage Site in Karnataka. Yes, sir. What are the temple names? Sir, temple names: uh, Channa Keshava Temple, mm-hmm. then uh, Keshava Nath Temple. So these two things I know. Sir. And Somnath Pura Temple. Yes, sir. Somnath. Three temples have been done. Okay. Yes, thank you. Sir. Tell me one thing: that we have named four people. Now you have named four people who ruled over South India from northern side. Yes. So why there was there was so many powerful kingdoms in South India? We have Chola, Vijayanagar, है ना? Yes. So many. 
So apart from being so many powerful rulers in the South India, why could they not rule over North India since history, ancient time to this time? Why could not they make an All India Empire? So if we see uh, from the Cholas, they are more concentrating on the southern side of South India. For example, they are concentrated on the Sri Lanka. Mm. Uh, so they are more bothered about and uh, they are making a trade relationship through the Arabian Sea. For example, in Vijayanagar mm. Empire, mm. they are making a relationship, uh, trade with the Arabians through the uh, ocean route. That's why they are not concentrating on the more on North India. That side. was only the region? No, sir. Actually, Rashtrakutas were trying to capture the North India, but they were failed, sir. All right. Do you know about Vij Vijayanagar Kingdom? Krishna Devraya. Yes. So he had us the grudge in his court. Yes, sir. Can you name some literature? Sir, sir Tenali Ramakrishna, hmm. Allah Sani Pradhana, Nandi Timmanna, Dhurjati, uh, and such others. Okay. And was he. Uh, so tell me, my last question is that there was a very powerful Rajpati prince who had went to Hampi and they had defeated Vijayanagar ruler. So what was the prince name? Any prince? Do you remember? Hamir Dev he was. Sorry, sir. Okay. And last question said freedom struggle. So you have read Gandhi. Okay. So what is the different ideological uh, differences between Gandhi and Ambedkar? Can you tell me? Differences approach of Gandhi and Ambedkar? Sir, uh, Gandhi's main ideology is about the getting the freedom. Uh, the main ideology related to the Ambedkar is to getting the freedom for the Dalit community. Mm. Then uh, there is a difference that uh, in order to sort the difference, the Pona Pact came into picture, sir. Uh, as far as uh, Gandhi is concerned, he strongly believed Hindu religion. Hindu religion. Uh, yeah. However, uh, Ambedkar has said in Hindu religion there is only provisions and facilities for the upper caste and no caste. lower caste. So he was talking, so Gandhi was supporting any lesson of caste or not? No, sir. No? No, sir. Okay, sir, over to you. Yeah. Thank you, Santapa. Your interview is over. I would request you to kindly wait out. Achha, no, it's yeah. Yeah. Chali, it's haan, haan. Sit back. Achha, the moment. Shall I? Hmm. So now, you will get the video yep. of yes. our feedback also. Mm. Give a piece of paper, please. Yes, sir. Mm. Keep it ready. Very confident personality. Thank you, sir. And we are really pleased. And your articulation is also excellent. We are well informed on various issues. Uh, my hunch is that since you all you are already in the police service, majority of questions will revolve around police. Police, okay. law and order, law and order investigation. Question, yeah. Huh? So you should be several judgments regarding. Hmm. So hmm. you should be fully aware of the various practices, especially the legal aspects of yeah. the various issues or complaints that are registered, you should be clear about it. Yes. Because you are already practicing it, so there is no problem you would face. And uh, your eye contact was missing. Okay. You should keep on looking at others also. Okay. Hmm? At everybody. The uh, main... Give main focus on to whom you are interacting, to whom you are replying, and a little bit Same. on others also. No? Yes, sure. So, so keep on looking at others also, involve them also in your, yes, in participate them in the interview. This is for knowledge about international relations, you know, because IFS is also one of the, your choice. IFS is uh, number three, number three. Yeah. So you should be well aware of the de developments that are taking place in the international arena. And you should also be aware of the domestic issues of contemporary nature. Yes. Study as much as possible. Yes. Keep yourself up to date. Your interview date has not come yet, no? So February 8th is my date. Nine? February 8th. 8th February. So soon. Yes. Anyway, no near. more interviews. Near. No more mock. Yes, sir. Please don't. Have you, how many mocks have you appeared? Uh, this is seventh mocks. 
no, please forget about the stop okay. now. And sure. This is the final focus. Okay. Mock. We don't want you to get. Evil. You have a little time in your hand. So whatever time you have got today, is got today's third. So four, your five, four days more. So whatever best you can prepare, you can prepare on that. Yes. No more mocks. Yes. Please be be very careful. Yes. Don't attend any more mocks. And Bishop, keep yourself up to date yes. on various domestic and con uh, international issues. And also know, read more about the various government schemes. Since your mother is in agriculture. Yes, sir. So read something about whether agriculture should be converted into an industry. What are the problems? What is MSP? Okay, sir. MSP does not affect uh, your state. Sir, MSP. Yes, sir. Minimum, yes, sir. minimum support price. It, it, hmm? it, yes. So, what are the why it is not being given a legal recognition? Yes. That also you know, and about various other schemes, socio-economic schemes like Manrega. Yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, and you have you also got one award on international shining compassion. Awards. Compassion. Yes. From Taiwan government. Yes. They, did you no, not Taiwan government, sir. Organization based in Taiwan. Organization based in Taiwan. Yes. So, did you go to Taiwan or no, sir? They came and they will certainly ask you about that. Yes, what is what is the yes. detail? What are the details about this award? Yes. What is this? Okay. So, I think you will do very well. Your confidence level is absolutely wonderful. And uh, would you like to wear the uniform? Press uniform or would you like to go in the series? In this one, yes. In this one, no? Yes. Earlier also you went uh, in the yes. civilian, not civilian, civilian, yeah. This you appeared earlier also, no? Yes, sir. Ah, so you went in civilian dress, yes, yes. not police uniform. Will it be better if you go in the police uniform? No. No, sir. Going in this civilian. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, I leave it to your discussion. So, so that's all we have to add and uh, you must... Have confidence enough. Don't get disheartened. Yes. Mm. This is your. This should be your last chance, and you mm. should be get into IPS. I wish you get into IPS. Mm. Thank you, sir. Hmm? Thank you, sir. And you will yes. certainly get yes. it. You huh? join your service, but time, elevated form. Yes. Yes. Ah. 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 Because since we have we either of us no no don't know Kannar Kannara language, yes. there may be one expert on Kannara literature. They may ask some something about Kannara. You must be knowing. Yes. Right. You will make it. Certainly. Mm. Keep up. All the Keep best. Keep up your confidence. Good luck. Thank All you. the best. All the best. Thank you. Thank you.